Why is everyone so obsessed with political power? It doesn't matter who we're talking about. The rich, the poor, the young, the old. Everyone has a political agenda. They used to be into money, but nowadays, that's politics too. Climate change, politics. Who you had the right to marry, gay, straight, politics. And what's the highest level of political power? The presidency, right? The leader. Now, I'm not a politician, never wanted to be. But can you imagine, just for a minute, that someone could control the most powerful of them all? The leader of free world. And I'm not talking about some cheap fiction in a book or movie. I'm talking about real life. But, on the other hand, there are some realistic films. Take Wag the Dog, for example. Yeah, sure. Dyson Hoffman is great in it. Dark humor is top notch. But it's not my point. Ideas there, lies and manipulation of the media, which will push current leader into the re-election. And that's end of story. What if the Nears' real plan was different? What if he wanted to eventually control the elected president? He's that badass. He kills Hoffman as soon as he smells danger, right? And a guy like that can be interested in real power himself. But again, it's all fiction. A Hollywood movie. Back to reality. There are just two superpowers in the world. United States of America and Russia. Everyone else just watches them. It's been like that since the time of good old USSR. Yeah. Gorbachev and Reagan stopped the Cold War. Well, kind of. But not forever, as we can see. Now, what would you do if you can control a superpower like that? What? You'd whip this crazy world into a better place? I don't think so. Excuse my cynicism. Why did you mention Russia, Mr. Morgan? I'll tell you an interesting story, Miss Smith. But don't be fooled by a happy ending of it. What do you mean? Do you believe in happy endings? I don't. But what the hell? COVID-19 taught us all that the world can live without even real hope, let alone a happy ending. And I don't believe in prophecies either. Prophecies? Something is going to happen here in the States, Miss Smith. Someone tried it in Russia already. What happened? I'm sorry we meet here. They can hit me back. Perhaps I'm getting paranoid. Don't worry about that. Paranoia is the new common sense. The country needs this election. Right. Right. But they want to disrupt it. Do you know Richard Tyler? He's a UN representative from the State Department. A color revolution expert. Any evidence? Wherever he's been lately, there's... Hello? Perfect. I need an hour. Prepare the material. We'll get Tyler in an hour. Hmm.
will be held in accordance with democratic principles. In international law, Mr. Dadir presents here, just emphasize. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just received some sad news. As the result of a provocation, the car with Mr. Dadier was blown up. You killed Dadier. He had stuff on you. You killed him. I'll prove that. According to the world media, the famous John Payne lost his mind. At the briefing, Payne attacked the American Special UN Representative Richard Tyler. A coup happened in the Balkan Republic. The election was declared invalid. of doing all that charity. All that charity is good for your career, honey. But it doesn't help people. I'm really tired. Permission? I'm sorry for disrupting your vacation. You'll have it later. Take a seat. Our old friend Richard Tyler quietly visited Moscow for a day and met the opposition leaders. Why is there no news about that? It was my order. As our reports say, he's preparing a large-scale provocation. If it succeeds, it could heavily compromise our special services. Like in Moldavia. I'm sure he came up with something new. Hmm. We'll get your team, Sergey. I'll bring up all my free agents. Our task is to prevent Tyler's provocation and identify all its participants. One more thing. I'll give you a girl student. She's a computer genius. John. <laughs> Here goes Sean. I'm sorry. Thanks for meeting me at the airport. I was writing about the election. Let's visit the boss. Well, sure. Just look at her. I want to help everyone who needs my help. She looks nice. She's a classy image maker, as far as I know. I just need to adjust my image. You ever take a rest? That's it. I said enough. I'm sorry. Thanks. Bye. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm coming. There you go. Wake up. Thanks. Come on. Let's go. John. Coming. Come on in. Please meet Tom Meldner. Take his shoes off. Go ahead. Gaskin, your gum's due an hour ago. And you should prove you're worth hiring. Get your keys. Get ready. <laughs> sorry, sorry for the surprise. They'd need a photo. 
They want to make an ID for you. People call me, how do you say it correctly? Jack of all trades. <laughs> Hi. Glad to meet you. Me too. Kirill? I'm Kirill. Yes. John. Come in. Whoa. Maybe it's not what you're used to in America, but don't worry, John. Don't worry, John. But when you see your apartment, you'll realize this is paradise. <laughs> Feels like an old grandma's closet. I've had it worse though. I can't complain. They gave me an office and rented a flat. Wow, now I have to live up to the trust. Good morning, Mr. Tyler. The house looks all right. Because Kamizarov is the right person. What is the goal? To improve Kamizarov's rating in no time. What's the problem? Honestly, he's a monster. A fascist demagogue. This image was created by mass media. Do you have any ideas on how to fix this? Hmm? You're asking for a miracle. Make it for me. The reward will exceed you all of your expectations. Our agents say Richard Tyler, known as the organizer of color revolutions, Secretly met with Nagorny and then Kamizarov. Tyler had left, and Kamizarov changed his team. Nikolai? He hired another PR expert, Anton Zetsepin, born in 1981, and image maker Alina Kudrovetseva, born in 1976. Tyler talked to her in person. Start with them. We need to know what Tyler wants. Kudrovetseva's CV at her website reads, She was a trainee in America. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, guys, I need everything we have on her. Parents, address, boyfriends, credit cards. Can we track it? Sure, but her phone is turned off. Hmm. Find out where she lives and set up surveillance. We should present you as a politician of the people and hide the data on your income. I've already sold my luxurious house and bought this terrible old ruin. Stuffed with junk. Please, listen to Elena. She's an expert. Okay, fine. Your last image maker made many mistakes. As a result, you have low rating. If you fulfill all her requirements, you'll become the most popular politician in Russia. <laughs> Well, we'll see, Elena. Do you guarantee that? I can only promise a better rating. It's up to you whether you become the president. It's going to be a real bomb. At least give us a hint. I don't want to jinx it. You'll see my article will blow the internet. Where's the phone? Okay, guys, see you all tomorrow. Hi, Nikishin. Have you lost anything? Inspiration? Very. Look, yesterday I went to Robert Mapplethorpe's exhibition. I was quite impressed. <laughs> I'd like to talk art, but I have an important meeting with my informant. See you tomorrow. Tyler, the murderer of Hercules Dadier, which only experts know about. No one needs it here. Russia's got its own problems. What shall I write? 
The Sochi Olympics preparation. Why did I even agree to Sean's proposal? Get ready. We're going to a party. <laughs> How can it help me with my article? I haven't written a word. You don't know Russia, John. At this party, you will meet people you need. <laughs> I'm writing about oligarch Absalom. He arranged this party. Whoa. Man, I'm way underdressed for this. Look at us and them. It's okay. What's interesting about Absalom, except for his money? There he is, in the middle. He builds Olympic facilities. The FSB knows he supports the opposition. Now they work on it. How do you know? Anonymous source. He wants to meet here in private. I'll be right back. Every guest here deserves an article. Excuse me? Everyone has skeletons in their closet. Look at the host of the party, oligarch Asilov. <laughs> I didn't expect to meet you again. Maybe, but I'm sure you didn't lose hope. Mm. We haven't been introduced. I'm John. I guess you're Elena. What else do you know about me? <laughs> that you're beautiful. The most beautiful. Oh, no. Dear Elena, my image worker works only for me. I'm very busy right now. I want you to work with me. Talk to my agent. You're drunk. Come on. What happened here? Sean's in a coma. He was found in the hall, severely beaten. Weren't you together? Look at you. Tell me what happened. Aren't you friends? John. I had to meet with Sean at the party yesterday to give him information for a new article, but we were followed. There's the same damaging material in this letter. To publish it or not, that's on you, Oracle. Strange nickname. The Secret Service pinned the theft of budget money on Absalov at the construction in Sochi. He's planning to run the West. How do you know? Not the source. Hmm. <laughs> Why not? What happened to Sean? I saw an ambulance take him. He's at the ER now. No one's allowed to visit or talk to him. If I don't get the call by 5 p.m., I'm screwed. Well, I can write it. You? You write about Russian politics? I will. You'll get the column in half an hour. 
deal. You must leave Russia in 10 hours. There's a warrant for your arrest. I see. Thank you for the information. Ah, Mr. Payne. What do you want, officer? <laughs> what do you think I work in the police? Are you paranoid? I might be, but only officers call me Mr. I'll call you John. So what happened to your face? I tossed and turned a lot. Really? Absolutely. Didn't you fight with your friend? There are witnesses of your scuffle at the party yesterday. <laughs> Inspector, or whoever you are, you dig in the wrong places. I love Sean as my brother. Now you get your brother's job, and nobody can talk to him. But when he talks, he'll send you to jail, I'm sure. Even so. Even so. I'm Amelia Morozova, and today's live we talk about what worries each of us. Oligarch Absalov unexpectedly fled Russia. He was supporting the opposition financially. Everyone wants to know who Absalov is so afraid of. Hello, Mr. Payne. I want to thank you for helping me yesterday. I help you, and you run away. As an image maker, I can't be in the center of a scandal. It's not as bad as it looks. I'm sorry. Excuse me, I have to go now. Thank you. How can I find you? There's no way you could have known. It would really happen. I was lucky, boss. It will be an old way when Sean's back. Sean died today, Payne. I know, it's not the right moment. But I still want to know, who's the leak? It was just a guess. Well, that's incredible, but I want you to keep this up. It's been a good start. Ass kick. I see your glances. You'll get hit in the head with this stick. Got it. Get off me, jerks. Ready, go. 
Harder! Harder! Let me try. Okay. What's this? Military training? Right, they need practice. I have a job for you, Felix. Tell me. I couldn't say it over the phone. Let's go somewhere. Hey, I'll take a leap. Take this. We can get soccer fans if it's not enough. What's it about? Listen, there's a mess planned on June 12th. You have to be organized and use your physical strength. Punching cops in the face? That's what we do. Then, by the end of the month, you must prepare a hundred old tires, a hundred Molotov cocktails, iron rebars, and paving slabs. Can you do that? Hmm. Of course, you'll be paid. This is an advance. If you make everything right, you'll get the second half. We need it to be a quality event. We'll do that. Careful, please hold the painting up straight. Hello? Hi, Petia. Have a sec. I'm all ears. I have some important info. On June 12th? Our agent in the Nationalist gang says some man visited them. He couldn't see his face, but noticed the car's plates. We're checking them now. What about Kamizarov's image maker? We've checked everything. Her emails, phone, relatives. She's not involved. She just wants to make some money. There's that Zeppelin left. It's a waste of time. Our analytics noticed a guy named John Payne. He came to Russia recently. Of all reporters, he was the first to write that Absalov would be arrested. Who's the leak? Only the investigative committee and the prosecution knew. It looks like Payne is also involved in Tyler's affair. Work on him. Hmm. Stating Kamizarov's image maker. Tyler hired her personally, which means Payne could be connected with Tyler. The opposition leader Anatoly Nagorny will be detained. The police have issues with him. The case is fabricated? Then at the party, Sean was to meet with Nagorny. Is he the Oracle? Wait, there's more? Thanks to Russia, a peaceful solution will be reached. American forces won't bomb Syrian cities. How does the Oracle know it all? 
He must serve in the FSB and know who ordered Sean's death. Alright. I will publish it. John Payne. Hmm. Accused Tyler of killing Hercules Dottier. Left the US and moved to Russia. Hmm. Just when Tyler is trying to set off a provocation here. Which means pain is working undercover. Hello. Yuri Ivanovich? Fire away. We have to talk seriously. John! John! John, come here! Come here, come on! Get in the car! Katya, what happened? Why are you crying? I won't perform. I can't sing anything. Sweetheart, you sing beautifully. I believe in you. There's so many people. I'm scared. Remember when we would go rafting in the river? We were drifting to that whirlpool. But you weren't scared. Good. That's better. Will we go camping after the contest? Sure we will. Dad, I miss you so much. Me too. Thanks, Dad. Mom would be proud of you. Katya, it's time to go on stage. I'm coming. That's it, Dad. I have to go. I love you. Me too. Break a leg. <sighs> Sir Volkov, I bypassed the virus. And? Payne's leak is some oracle. Oracle? Looks like Payne doesn't know him. Who's he? I'm on it. His account is registered for a dead man. Keep me posted. Got it. Are we watching, Payne? Our fun-loving mate is in a restaurant. He buried his friend last week, and now he's having fun? Is it the Oracle? Right! The EU cannot convince the President of Ukraine to sign the Association Agreement. 
No wonder. Free Ukraine will never betray Russia. Well, what else do we have here? Polls show that more than half of the opposition supporters trust Kamizarov. His rating is rising. If the Oracle is a special agent, why would he promote Kamizarov? Huh. It's not my business, though. Come on. Sir Volkov, I've located the Oracle. Have you checked all the cams? There's only one. We'll send you the video. There's only his back. He threw something into the trash bin. I think it's this one. Here, got it. There's a phone in the coffee cup. Now we'll find him. Don't be so happy. Do you know why he did that? Drift and him. We can check the phone and its serial number. Sure. But he probably bought it on the street. He's a pro. Should we check the cars parked around? I was thinking about that. The Oracle could have got exposed there. Do you hear me? The dash cam. Yes, check everything there. What do you want? Easy. Calm down. Is this your car? Yeah. Hey. Hello. Can we see the Oracle's face? It's better on the big screen. Who's that? I don't know yet. Tell me when you get the results, okay? All right. Please, tell us how you do that, John. Have you suddenly discovered the gift of foresight? You know, I didn't expect that for myself either. Some even call you the prophet of our days. Can you comment on that? If my readers believe me, I won't discourage them. John, how do you like living in Russia? Honestly? Sure. Truly. I feel at home here. Nothing. How can that be? I've checked it twice, but the system doesn't recognize him. It's impossible. Check it again. Permission? What do you got? I checked the car plates of the guy who visited the Nazis. We can't track him down. He's changed a bunch of cars registered for random people. He can cover his tracks. He might be a spy or a CIA agent. Or even worse, an inside job. Really? You think we have a mole here?
You'll know who ordered Sean's death. Now we need to publish this. The Prosecutor General will have the claims for the former financial minister, Banker Gannon. Who the hell is that? Bragging. Why wake me up? There are two goons following Payne. To press him, obviously. Are these your people? Of course not. I need him safe and sound. Manage it. I'll try. Sorry, Mr. Payne. My people won't hurt you. I just wanted to talk to you alone. Here seems the right place. Fjordan Gannon. That's me. I thought I could help you with your next forecast. After all, it will be about me. I often hear about it these days. Good. You should write in your next forecast that I... Having dealt with the prosecutor, Gannon is ready to leave the opposition in exchange for freedom. Not bad. Now I need to come up with a... with a catchy title. Let's try... this. Our fears were right. It's Major Bragan from the counter-intel. General, the main thing is we found out in time. Not in time. It's too late. I've known since last week. Excuse me? One of my infiltrators informed me. As we don't know all participants of the incident, I had to get involved personally. If you contacted me with your agent, we could have coordinated our actions. You have ten days left. What the hell? What is a gun doing here? Is it... Mr. Payne, you knew Mr. Gannon. He was found an hour ago with a bullet hole in his head, but it wasn't a suicide. How do you know it wasn't a suicide? Well, they didn't find the gun. Oh, I see. I didn't know Gannon. You didn't know Gannon? Strangely, I have witnesses who saw you together the day before the murder. Besides, you are the last person who saw him alive, by the accounts of the witnesses, Gannon's security in particular. Moreover, you are suspected of the <laughs> murder what? It's of okay. Gannon too. Just eat. Ridiculous. Why would I need to kill them? What for? That's right. Did they say he is dumb? He's not dumb. Bragan is smart. He did everything to pin the blame on pain. They will sentence him. Why did they make him a prophet? They could have just planted evidence without all the mess with the emails. Something's missing. Bragan might need it to blackmail pain. 
But what for? Why does Bracken record their talk? See you later, Mr. Payne. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Here. Hmm. Here goes my client. I must go. You watch pain. Getting bossy? I know it. <sighs> what? It's all because of the Oracle. First they removed Sean, now they want to set me up. <sighs> there are no new messages. To hell with him. But what about Liptonov? They locked me up any day now. What should I do? Zed Stefan told me about his influential friend. Who did he mean? You'll meet my boss now. He's the most influential person I have ever met. I'm happy with it. He works for the Kremlin administration. I told him about your problem. Bykovsky is the only person who's able to settle it. Mr. Payne. Hello. I hope you're not confused with all of this. Not at all. In my spare time, I grow flowers. What are your hobbies? Currently, I have one concern. I'm trying to avoid jail. I see. I understand you and beg your pardon for our police force and its overzealous staff. I believe you're not guilty, Mr. Payne. That's why I'll help you. I'll use all my contacts to get Investigator Litvinov off your back. On one condition. I'll do my best. You already are. <laughs> Write your forecasts. I don't know how you predict the future, but people trust you. Don't disappoint them. Keep it up. Your future is in your hands. Then we have a deal. John, I've heard your girlfriend is very beautiful. This is for her. These are the most beautiful flowers from last night. Thank you. Bykovsky knew about the Oracle. They both acted in someone else's interest. First they got rid of Nagorny, and then started to hype Kamizorov. Kamizorov is involved too. Does that Stefan know about it? Or are they using him like me? We found another one. Who's that? The Kremlin administration employed Bykovsky. Pain led us to him. Zatsefin introduced them. Bykovsky started to make orders and got exposed. Bykovsky? What a Judas. We have revealed. All the incitement participants. Its meaning is unknown. But I think Tyler's following a pattern. June 12th. Who's the victim? Kamizarov? I can't see another option. I agree. Nagorny gets out of jail and becomes president with the Prime Minister Bykovsky. We have to figure it out. The exact time and place of the murder. Bragging killed Gannon like a pro and planted the gun on Payne. 
I think pain has nothing to do with it. So do I. Now Liptonov wants to arrest pain. He could mess things up. Ira! Yes, John? I need summaries on Kamizra. You'll get them in ten minutes. That Stefan is Kamizarov's spine doctor. It means he's certainly in, but how did Elena get there? Hi, sweetheart. Hi, honey. I miss you. I miss you, too. I have a break soon. Let's meet. Okay, I'll pick you up in an hour. Good. Hello? Major Litanov? It's me. Who am I talking to? Lieutenant Colonel Volkov. Are you working on John Payne? Yes. Not anymore. The case was transferred to the FSB. Talk to your boss. Got it. Didn't you check up on him? I just do my job for money. I hope it's true. I want to believe you. If you change my... Screw you. Now it all makes sense. Tyler stands behind Kamizarov. They're planning a color revolution in Russia. Baikovsky, Zept Stefan, and Oracle are involved. Thank God Elena isn't. What should I do? Should I call a press conference and reveal Tyler's plan? But I have no evidence again. I'll play along with Tyler so he won't become suspicious. I have to stop him in time. What? I'm just hungry. <laughs> I see. Mr. Tyler? How is it? I'll finish soon. I think 200 grams will be enough. Sure it will be. We don't need a sea of corpses. Okay. Just one. Tell Anton when you're done. Was it DNT? Will it be a bomb? Does he want to kill Kamizarov? You're right. He's soldering wires. Jerks. Call the boss. Kahiv is planning to go back to Russia and help organize protests. Fearing that the Kremlin initiated his bankruptcy. Dream on. He will just sue the hell out of you. What's wrong? Where's your forecast? Can Kahib go bankrupt? What? Kahib bankrupt? He makes money out of thin air to give to the opposition. He's been funding our paper for 10 years. We don't need negative opinions about Kahiv. The Oracle wants me to write exactly this article. Then Tyler needs it. How to stop him. What if I change the forecasts and make another title? Let's say, Boris Kahiv will defend his principles to the end.
Boris Kahiv was found dead in his London house. Preliminary version is suicide. Elena, come quick! Is it another political murder or a tragic accident? Listen to her. Kahiv's death has changed the opposition's morale. Whoa. Do you think Tyler arranged it all? Who else benefits from Kahiv's death? I tried to change the forecast. It didn't work. The famous writer and rights defender Daniel Voskresinski, who's lived in France since the early 70s, has already responded to the tragedy. I've known Boris for a long time. He's an old friend of mine. I don't believe he could commit suicide. I think he was killed. I'm sure he was killed by Russian special services. After many reflections, I have finally decided to come back to Russia. Mr. Komizarov invited me to come and try to influence the authorities. We should not continue to live like this. So everything was planned? I must stop Tyler. Think of yourself and us. It, it could be dangerous. The worse it gets for him. You must leave Kmizarov tomorrow. You got me, right? I want to meet with the press. We should invite Russian and Western media. All right, I need you. Later, I'm busy. You've got a call online, too. Please take care of the arrangements for the press conference. Yeah. I have enough to worry about. Sure. I know who Tyler is. I work in the press, too. The press only writes the half-truth about him. Officially, Tyler is a UN representative who actually organizes color revolutions. How do you know? I saw it in Serbia. Personally, I'm against those orange revolutions. I'm for free and honest elections. It's not about politics. Something's wrong here. You were right. Tyler and I got history. My friend died because of him. He wanted the same as you. Honest and transparent elections. Then you have to call a press conference. <laughs> right. John, pick up the phone. Please, John, oh my god. John! Dan, John! Come here. What are you doing? Get your hands off me! Let's go! What will you tell us about, John? You'll know it all, sir. Can you lift the curtain? Sorry, no comment right now. Can we go faster? What's the hurry? Elena's phone died. Got it. What are you doing here, Anton? Elena sent me to bring me to her office. Get in the car. Why isn't she answering? The battery ran out. Did Elena tell you she left Kamizarov? I told her to do that. It turned out there's the notorious Richard Tyler behind him, who organized color revolutions and now wants to make one in Russia using Kamizarov. What do you need from me, John? You look like you and your friend Bykovsky have a deal with Tyler. Thought came to me in the greenhouse. You're with Tyler too. 
You published what he needed. I was sending you the messages. Was it you? I was gathering information and sending it to you. You were happy to use it in your forecast. You're as much Tyler's accomplice as I am. Want to tell the press? Go ahead. All right, do you want to scare me? Poor effort, you know that? Why don't you explain? Oh, I don't need your consent. The conference? It's gonna happen anyway, you know? We'll see. <sighs> Driver, pull over now. What about Elena? Do you think she's waiting for you in her office? Here. No press conference. No mention of Tyler, Baikovsky, or me. Do you understand, Mr. Payne? Besides, you have to come to see Voskrinsky on June 12th, make a speech to support the opposition. And also, demand that the authorities dissolve the Duma state and hold early elections. Unless you don't want to see Alina alive. Where is she? What have you done? Nothing yet. But we can make everything now before your eyes. If you reject my conditions. That's why you made me a... a prophet. Now people will follow you through fire and ice. Take them to the barricades and Alina will be safe. <laughs> well, Prophet, will there be a revolution? I am Andrei Valentinovich Bragan. Major of Russian Special Services. I address the West and all the democratic world. This morning I was ordered to remove, which means to kill, the famous writer and world-known rights defender, Daniel Voskresinski. I am ordered to blow Voskresinski up, right at his meeting with his Russian readers with a bomb obviously homemade it can pass for a terrorist attack unfortunately i have to follow the orders or i will be killed i hope the west and the civilized world will hear my word and with the wave of indignation prevent other murders when the russian people rise to fight the corrupt authorities Who's there? Pizza delivery. Hurry up, guys. What are you, sleepy flies? Move faster! We have to get to the stadium before the roads are blocked. Where's Junior? Is he taking a leak again? Faster! I'll get you! Major Bragan, do you admit to working for Tyler and helping prepare the incitement? I want guarantees that my family will be safe. I guarantee your family's safety. Then I admit that I worked for Tyler. Who's the Oracle? It's me. Why do you cover for Bykovsky? Who 
gave the go-ahead to remove Ganon? Bykovsky. Via Komizarov. But I have nothing to do with Kayev's death. If Tyler calls you, what will you say? That everything is going as planned. But I have to be in the rented apartment. If my phone is located elsewhere, Tyler will know everything. Is everything fine, Anton? Sure. It'll happen today as planned. They appreciate your work. Have you seen Elena? Is that Sippin has her? I think they took her to the stadium. You may be right. Is it far? near downtown, uh, 15 minutes by car. Daniel Voskresinski is visiting us. Behind me, you can see people going yeah. to meet him. Sit in that chair, darling. Why are we going to the meeting with Vosprasinski? With all due respect, I'd rather be asleep. We stopped the incitement. Vosprasinski's protected. We can take a leave. The, the police, they can manage it. Firstly, we arrest Kamizorov and Zatsevin after the meeting. Secondly, I'm confused. Instead of making a protest rally, the opposition meets Vosprasinski. They knew the authorities won't sanction a rally. Such a meeting won't arouse suspicion. It's clear. Tyler's very experienced. He always has a plan B. Think how it began. Before that, Kane was at the party with his friend Sean Castigan. After which, those Nazis beat Sean up. And he died in hospital. Look what I found. This CIA dossier was in Brogan's laptop. Sean Castigan had served at the U.S. Marines before he became a reporter. He was in Afghanistan and Iraq. Look here. Wait, go to the hospital. Pull over. Do you mean that... No way. Check it. Is that low? Here's my confession. The truth about Tyler's plan. People should hear it. At the meeting, okay? I'll do my best. They'll hear it. I'll try to rescue Elena. Good luck, John. Easy, Hold guys. It. I'm... John Payne. Tells that Seppin or Kamizorov that I'm here. Shall I let a John Payne in? Sure, bring him here. Keep someone behind him. We are here. Go ahead, scout the area. Do you, uh, have to follow me so closely? I do. People should think I'm your bodyguard. So should you. May I ask, to what do we owe the pleasure to see the Prophet himself? If there's a winner, I'll tell you something. I would like to spend the entire day with him. Bring it here. May I? Come in. 
I'm Nikolai Alicia from the FSB. Good. Taxi? How can I help you? Recently, you treated Sean Castigan, an Irish reporter? I did. He died without recovering consciousness. We did our best. How did it happen? I remember a nurse rushing in and saying Kaskin's heart had stopped. Then came people from the embassy. What embassy? Irish? Or perhaps American? <laughs> So, what happened next? Then they said they don't trust Russia's medicine and took the body. You mean you haven't seen Castigan dead? Here you go. I quit, but all right. Sergey, pick up the phone. Carry out a coup. Freeze! The country will plunge into chaos in the 90s. Come to your senses, sword of blood is dead. Freeze! Don't move! Sincerely yours, John Perry. Breaking news from the stadium, where Voskresensky meets his readers. An attempt on Voskresensky's life has just been made. Now he'll be the center of attention. The meeting with Voskresensky was announced in social media. Different sources say there were 10 to 30,000 people. Are you satisfied? I'll pay you all back later. I knew it was coming, Tyler. I'm not guilty! I believe in God, I'll get out soon! Permission? Ah, uh, Volkov. Congratulations. Thank you. All the incitement participants were arrested. Except that Stefan. The PR man just vanished. He's like, see, Gramps, you didn't believe I could do it. Gramps, I'll do my best. I won't let you down. So he's yours? My older grandson. Did he message me about Castigan? I admit it was on time. I'm drafting the award order. Take a look. Have I forgotten anyone? Svetlov? He's your agent? So you controlled it all. The main credit is yours. You did the operation well, so you deserve the Colonel's stripes. Thank you, General. Permission to go. Granted, Colonel. You deserve a vacation. Yuri Ivanovich, what about pain? Yes, I understand. Your friend, Sean Castigan, is safe and sound. He was slightly injured it turned out he worked for Tyler from the beginning. It can't be so. You suspected me of his murder. Please. The official response from the Secret Service. No. Sean invited you to Russia at Tyler's request. What about Gannon and Kaif? Set up too? No. 
Unfortunately, Ganon and Kaif are dead, but the investigation is ongoing. We thank you for all of your assistance throughout our investigation. That's the story, Miss Smith. And it's 2020 now. November is just around the corner. I have a gut feeling that you will start to receive some injuries soon. No, scratch that. Sensational information soon. You know that I represent a very serious national newspaper, Mr. Morgan. I'm a patriot. Why would I work for you? Because it is you, right? You were not successful in Russia back then. And now you want to mess with presidential elections here? You're great journalist, Miss Smith. A little old fashioned maybe, but good at what you do. Anyway, you don't have a choice. The truth is, America can use a prophecy or two. And as I told you, there are no happy endings. Thank you.